Hi, I'm Jimmy Calata, a certified public accountant by profession. I work with the provincial government and I used to be a manager of a CEC or telecenter. I am a member of the National Executive Council of the Philippine CEC Network and I head the Committee on CEC Development and Management. I am also a member of the Board of Trustees of the telecenter.org Philippine CEC Academy. For this module of this online course for CEC managers, I'm going to discuss with you the basic concepts and principles of financial management systems for CECs or telecenters. This uh, first part of the uh, course module for CEC management 2 is all about the basic concepts and principles of financial management system of CECs. This is actually a supplement to the uh, papers uh, presented in this uh, module online. The uh, financial management system of community centers or telecenters generally involve certain subsystems and these are first planning and monitoring system, second accounting system and third control and risk management system. Under the planning and monitoring system, the first uh, step is the planning of activities and this is uh, usually undertaken by management which uh, sets the priorities of the center. From there, the uh, annual plan of the CEC is developed and the general resource allocation is determined. After that, a budget is uh, developed by estimating income as well as all running costs for expenditures. And this should be based on the available funds and in other words, there should be matching between revenues and expenditures in order to have a balanced budget. After a balanced budget is determined for arrival, the same is approved by management. And after the uh, budget is approved by management, it is implemented. But it will be subjected to regular monitoring by concerned personnel. In the, part, in the course of monitoring, it is possible that there would be some variances between the budget and actual transactions and balances. And here, the management and the concerned officer officials or employees of the uh, CEC should respond correspondingly. The uh, other subsystem or under the financial management systems, it is all called the accounting system. The uh, accounting system is supported by duly approved accounting policies and standards set by management. And these are usually in accordance with general accepted accounting principles. The uh, accounting policies and standards will serve as a guide in the identification, analysis, journalization, and posting of transactions to the so-called books of accounts. These transactions may be sales, purchases, cash receipts, cash disbursements, or sundry transactions, or transactions which are not, uh, or other than the transactions that I have just mentioned. The transactions necessarily must be supported with source documents or supporting documents in order for them to be recorded. And only transactions that involve the CEC should be recorded. In other words, personal transactions of the employees or officers of the CEC should be excluded. The transactions, once they are authorized as, and are uh, duly supported by documents, they are posted to the so-called books of accounts, particularly first under the uh, primary books of accounts, such as the sales journal, 
Cassis is journal, Porsis is journal, Cassis version is journal, and the general journal. The uh, recording of business transactions or transactions of the CEC or Telecenter is usually undertaken on a daily basis. It can also be undertaken on a weekly basis depending on the volume of transactions of the CEC or Telecenter or depending on the policy set by the management of the CEC. At the end of each month, however, there ought to be preparation of financial statements and these financial statements will serve as an input to the decision-making processes by the management as well as concerned officials or institutions within the CEC ecosystem. The uh, financial statements include the balance sheet, income statement, cash flow statement, notes to financial statement, including supplementary schedules or reports depending on the requirements of the management as well as entities from within and outside the ecosystem. The next or the last but not the least subsystem under the financial management system is the so-called control and risk management system. And this system has something to do with the safeguarding of the assets or resources of the CEC. It uh, ensures efficient and economic or economical um, conservation of uh, financial or business transactions of the CEC. The control and risk management system involves the proper delineation of functions so much so that there should be no incompatible duties and functions. There should be segregation of incompatible functions such as handling of cash and recording of cash transactions, custodial functions and the recording of the assets under custody. The uh, other one is authorization, which involves the approval by management or concerned officers of the CDC of specific transactions. For example, for disbursements amounting to say 10,000 and below, the same could be approved by the CEC manager and beyond that amount, it should be approved by the steering committee or call group, whatever will be is the name of the, uh, of the uh, management group, uh, it should be the one to approve. The uh, transactions of the CEC or telecenter must be uh, uh, capable of being uh, monitored by way of audit trail. And this audit trail may be the form of uh, source documents or supporting documents, including books of accounts, which are generally called as corroborating and underlying evidence. In the process of uh, managing risk and controlling risk for that matter, there ought to be a monitoring activity that uh, should be undertaken by duly uh, designated personnel within the CEC or outside the CEC if the CEC is under a local government or a national or provincial government. And the result of the monitoring should be evaluated and corresponding adjustments or courses of actions to uh, address the situation should be undertaken. And uh, part of the uh, control and risk management system is the uh, conduct of auditing, which, of, which is uh, of two types. If the audit is conducted by personnel of the CEC or by uh, another institution within the local government unit where the CEC uh, or to which the CEC belongs, then it is called internal auditing. But if it is undertaken by, say, the commission audit 
for an independent Shopify public accountant, it is called external auditing. The uh, basic tools that are uh, being utilized under the management or financial management system of CECs or telecenters are uh, the budget and the financial statements and reports generated from the accounting system. The uh, budget is actually a uh, forecast and assumptions of figures. Revenues are uh, forecasted on the basis of expected uh, revenue activities and expenditures are assumed or calculated or estimated on the basis of expected programs, projects and activities that entail cost or expenses. For a newly established uh, CEC, these expenditures may be referred to as startup expenditures and uh, the document that, uh, uh, is, that uh, reports these expenditures is called a startup budget. And once the CEC is already up and running or operating, uh, the, uh, the budget report is called an operating budget. The, uh, the startup budget may consist of uh, forecasts and uh, assumptions of uh, revenues and expenditures, uh, which may uh, include the same categories of uh, revenues and expenditures under uh, an operating budget. It may also include capital outlays, personal services, as well as miscellaneous and other operating expenses, which are also present under, the, under an operating budget. The uh, other category of uh, basic tools under the financial management system of CCs are the so-called financial statements and reports. And these are uh, classified as basic and supplementary. Uh, in fact, uh, in some instances, the uh, financial statements and reports of a CEC or telecenter consists of both basic and supplementary. The uh, basic financial statements of CCs, just like any other types of uh, accounting entities or business entities as, as corporations, partnerships or cooperatives, consists of uh, the audited uh, balance sheet, income statement, the statement of cash flows, including notes to financial statements. For um, CCs that are registered as uh, cooperatives, supplementary information or reports may be required by the Cooperative Development Authority. And uh, this supplementary information are also called for by management, which should be integrated as part of the financial statements and report. reports are submitted to them for their uh, uh, consumption or for their decision-making activities.